Happy New Year. How? How was it 2021? I was thinking to start off 2021, I wanted to film a super easy, slowed down, full body Pilates routine. And it's great for any beginner, intermediate level. My posture isn't the best. I'm not a fitness coach or anything, but just doing a simple routine, no weights, no equipment. You just need a yoga mat or a carpet, any open space in your bedroom. If there's anything that we do have control in focusing on this year is the moments we set aside for ourselves, whether that be in the morning or nighttime. I hope that you guys enjoy this video. Find time today to do something for yourself, to slow down, take some deep breaths. I also want to give a huge thank you to Fabletics. My January outfits are so, so cute. All the patterns and colors. Right now, I'm wearing a fit from Liza Koshi's collection. Everything is so good. The colors, the fit, the patterns. I stand. I'm so excited to kick off and start the new year with these outfits, letting myself prioritize myself. If you guys want to get any new workout outfits, loungewear for the new year, be sure to check out Fabletics. You can become VIP and get any two bottoms for just $24. You will also get 50% off the rest of your order and free shipping when you join VIP. Be sure to check back every Thursday for brand new styles and also Fabletics is launching their first fitness app. All VIP members will get free access to all of the content from some of the best instructors and trainers in the space. So all of that will be linked down below. And without further ado, let's get into the workout. Standing up on our mat, we're gonna raise our arms up towards the sky, taking in a breath and letting your arms fall down. One more big inhale. And on your way down, we're gonna fold our body in half and just let your torso, your arms, your head hang heavy. I like to sway side to side to stretch everything out and really indulge this stretch. You can bend your knees if you're a little tight, hold on to your elbows, hang your head. Shake your head yes, shake your head no. Now using our hands to walk down into a plank position, adjust your feet and we're going to do 10 shoulder taps, taking your right hand, tapping your left and alternating the other side. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Raise your hips into a down dog and walk it out, bending your knees. Let your heels really sink down into the floor. And we're going to raise our right foot, pointing the toes. Now bring your right knee into your chest, shooting it back up. Four, Three, make sure you're breathing. Two, and one. Hold that knee in, plant your foot in between your hands, and settle into warrior one position with your hands up. Rotating to the left, warrior two. We're gonna bring our hands up with our heel five times. Four, three, I love this move for some reason two, and one. Stretch that right hand over and cartwheel down into your down dog. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side now. So just walk it out, bend your knees, feel that stretch. Bring your left foot high towards the ceiling, pointing the toes scooping the knee in for five, four, three, two, shoot it up, and one. Plant that foot in between your hands, warrior one, 
twist into warrior two and we're gonna shoot the hands up with the heel three two and one give yourself a nice stretch shooting that left hand up and cartwheeling back into our down dog drop your knees onto the mat and just rest into a child's pose breathe in breathe out Let yourself enjoy this moment. Now, standing up on our fours, we're going to straighten out our right foot and our left hand, and we're gonna let the knee and the elbow meet in the center. Eight more. Seven. Six. Stretch as far out as you can four, three, two, and one. Bring your knee and your hand back down and now we're going to lower onto our elbows and we're going to raise our right foot again, pointing the toes. We're gonna to do simple lifts. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now we're going to draw little circles with our toe for 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Now switch directions, same foot, draw little circles. Keep your core tight. Now keep your foot up for five more seconds, as high as you can, three, two, one. Bring that knee back down, and we're gonna stretch back into child's pose. Take a breath. Getting back up on our fours, we're gonna lift the left foot, stretch it out with the right hand, and meet your knee and elbow. Nine, eight, really stretch. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Going down to our elbows. We're gonna raise that left foot. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now we're gonna draw circles with our toe 10 times. Five, four, three, two, one. Alternating directions. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Keep that toe pointed and lifted for five, four, three, two, and one. We're gonna sink into child's pose again. Take a deep breath in and breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Really melt into this. Now we are going to get up on our fours, balance on our knees, and just do some Pilates push-ups, keeping your elbows in. Four, three, two, and one. Take a beat at the top. And we're gonna do five more. Five, four, three, two, and one. Stretch back, sink into your butt. 
Now we're gonna do a little bit of abs. So sitting on your mats, bringing your arms forward, just slowly roll on your back, taking it one vertebrae at a time and meeting your head on the floor. Let your knees drop to the floor, shake everything out. Adjust your feet to be hip width apart and point your toes forward. Put your head in your hands and we're gonna do some simple crunches laying down like this. For 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Drop your arms, take a beat. In that same position, we're gonna reach across our body with our right hand, left, right, left, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Lay back down. We're gonna bring our legs up into a tabletop position. Pointing our toes. And we're gonna do little toe taps on the floor here for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hug your knees in and plant your feet on the ground. We're gonna raise our hips up into a bridge. We're gonna dip in a very small, quick motion for 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Now tap your knees in while keeping your booty and hips up. Five, four, three, two, one. Now resting on your heels, push your legs forward and we're gonna do some more hip dips. Three, two, one. And now very, very slowly, we're going to roll down on our back, starting with the upper back, middle, tailbone, and just taking a second to take a breath. Hug your knees in, sit up. We're gonna do a few arm workouts. So I like to just sort of stand on my knees, bring your arms out, and we're going to rotate our arms forward. 10 times. Five, four, three, two, one. Now switch directions. Five, four, three, two, one. Now flip your palms up and we're gonna go forward again. Five, four, three, two, one. Switch directions and rotate your arm backwards. Five, four, three, two, and one. Some tricep exercises. We're gonna bring our arms back and just rotate our arms in. Five, four, three, two, one. Now rotate outwards. Five, four, three, two, one. While we're here, might as well do 10 little pulses upwards. Five, four, three, two, one. And bring your arms forward and just bend your elbows so you have a right angle and we're gonna lift up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And we're going to lower our arms down to our thighs Bring them back up to where they were and lift. We're gonna do this 10 times. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. 
five, four, three, two, and one. Drop back down to your fours and making sure your hands are underneath your shoulders. We're going to plant our toes and lift our knees for 10 seconds. So just hold, this is great for your core. Five, four, three, two, one. Drop your knees and bend down into a child's pose. Take a deep breath. And we're gonna stretch our back, push forward, and what is this called, like a cobra, scorpion or something? Go back into child's pose. Take a deep breath in and breathe out as you bend forward. And back into a child's pose. Now we're gonna pop into our down dog. Bend our knees, walk it out. Now lift your right foot high up to the ceiling, bend your knee in, and we are going to stretch out our hip. So just plant your leg, sit up, feel that stretch, and fold your body in half. Let yourself melt into your thigh. I love this stretch so much. It's great for opening up the hips and stretching out your hamstring in the back. Now back into down dog. Lift that left leg up, bend your knee in, and do the same thing on the other side. Stretch sitting up and then go down to your elbows, fold your torso, and melt into this stretch. Make sure to take deep breaths. Finishing this off with another down dog. And now we're going to walk our hands backwards into a standing position. Let your torso hang, hold onto your elbows, sway, whatever you need to do. And now slowly stand up one vertebrae at a time, letting your head be the last thing that pops up. Take it super slow. Now I'm going to lift my hands and take a deep breath in. And just so that you guys can see this better, I'm gonna to walk to the center of my mat and just stretch my body side to side, giving my back and the side of my body a nice stretch. And now I'm just gonna get comfortable in a seated position with my legs crossed. And we're gonna do more stretching. So rest on one of your elbows and just stretch the opposite arm over your head. This feels so, so good. And we're gonna switch sides, resting on the other elbow and reaching that hand as far as you can. Keep it directly above your head, opening up your chest. And I'm gonna do the other side. And rolling forward. This feels so good as well. And rolling back to the other side. Now find yourself in an upright position. Let's just take a quick moment to settle into our breath. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Notice how you feel right now, if you feel looser or relieved to be done 
or grateful that you gave yourself this moment, but it's super important to take notice of how you feel after you move your body and give yourself this time and space for yourself. Let's roll our neck in giant circles, going one direction and switching the other way, rolling your head and neck, keeping your eyes closed, maybe some yeses, some noes, nodding your head. And that is it for the workout. Ugh, oh, I feel so good after this.